The mics are blood clot open. Check, check, check. Select accent for the podcast. <laughs> Calvin. Calvin always late. All right, it is the mics are open episode 175. My name is G Money. Andy Young. Big Sizzle. What's going on? Okay. Guess what? What? Oh, My God. president is black. Oh, and, finally. And no. And Obima is it's, what? It's blue. always blue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, but he, da- he, he dark skin though. Uhuru was a bit light. Huh? Are you thinking about our former president's skin yeah. complexion? Uhuru's acting light skin lately. <laughs> it's too soon. <laughs> no, wait. Bruv, bruv, bruv. Uhuru, the, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta is still the president, president of this nation. You will address him with respect. <sighs> I mean, you can't call him light skin and then have respect. Sorry, I know. Oh my God. Oh, oh sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Damn. Right. You know, you could have just moved through this. I could have just on. moved yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So, so we have a president, William Samoa Ruto. Ruto, mm-hmm. yep, yep. Yep. 55-year-old president. What, the fourth young, second youngest or fourth youngest? I think, how, youngest. How, how, how old was Moi when he checked in? No, I'm talking about now, the only person younger than him, I think, is the guy from Ethiopia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's yeah. 46. Yeah. So what about the, our DJ from Madagascar? What happened to him? He didn't last? I think the, the session ended. Guess what? <laughs> His set was short. <laughs> yeah. So we have a new president. I'm glad that um we can get back to normal. Yeah, I'm man. so happy, man. And, and it's not normal hot air. Yeah. And also, the good thing about it is also the whole process was was peaceful. It, you know, shout going out to... to, to uh, to, us. To, to us guys and more specifically the guys of the UK yeah United Kisumu yes <laughs> the US Embassy was like oh we're giving a travel advisory there Imagine. might be uh, guys in Kisumu are like hey at, oh, oh, oh. The, you know you gotta put the base in when you're about to talk in Lou we do, don't do, want do you all, yeah. do you all think this is going to be like a landmark election yeah, like it has to be yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. bro they were nothing like yeah. bro CNN didn't get no images for the next election mm. yeah. they were just like it's boring yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah going out to Larry Larry actually said that he was like it's yeah, a very these are boring elections yeah, yeah. Which is a good yeah thing. boring for boring for the for the mainstream exactly yeah. I mean the good thing is like fam like we were all here in 2007 mm. um we've seen elections subsequently we've seen this one and I'm just proud of everyone who went out there and voted um I'm proud that the court did what they're supposed to do mm-hmm and whether you, you are team Azimio or team UDA, fam, we just need to get back to business. Oh, we party. do. We do. You know, we do. party. Because, like, fam, the world is going mad right now. I don't want to go too deep, but fam, have you seen the latest thing, like, that's happened now? And I'm not going to explain it too deeply, but um, Russia and China have said that they're going to use now using their own currencies, currencies to, to trade, trade yeah. it, which means that it further weakens the US dollar. Damn. True. True. It's about time so anyway, to... Those are the depressing, depressing tax. Sorry, my voice is a bit funny, but I couldn't miss the pod. Yeah, yeah you cried too much over that arsenal loss, and it's okay, G. <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. Bro, <laughs> what is your first and foremost, man. Yo, shout going out to Manchester United. I caught the first half at least. Eh? Okay. Anthony, that is going to be a bad man. Your new signing. Yo. Okay. Like, he's actually going to be a bad man. Fam, <laughs> that nigga going to be only injured. Lasts. In ah, at no, least a month. That. Come on now. Bro, why are you don't gonna be that, like bro. that? You see, there's a people that do all this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the first thing. half. He's in gonna, the first half. Yo, he's gonna break his own leg. <laughs> hey. He's gonna break By his the own way, leg. now that we're talking football, did you guys ever talk about Pogba? And the witch doctor? Yeah, yeah. the witchcraft. Oh, what the stuff. fuck, Pogba though? Bro, Pogba's a Are you are damn. you buying it? Yo, listen. He Pog- said he went, apparently. He said he went because he was like, yo, I, he said I went and I wanted to be blessed, lack of a yeah, better yeah. word, to not get no injuries, injuries yeah. right? But he left out that Mbappe part. That shit was <laughs> wild. Yeah, but I don't, not, like. How are you going to go all the way to the witch doctor and the witch doctor be like, do you want Mbappe not to win? And you're like, nah, I like my brother. Yeah, but like I'm, that's what I'm saying. I mean, the fact that he had to come out and say that um, I didn't throw a curse on Mbappe, that's the wildest shit ever. Ever. True. No. You're that friend. This allegation's coming from your own brother, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. man. That's crazy. Man. But I, fam, come on. Look at Obama and his brother. Yeah. Um, the one called Malik who's now asking him for help. Mm. It's like, it's just what they do, man. Like, end of the day, like, sometimes 
I don't know. Sometimes people get to a point and they expect that <coughs> Broski must do this and Broski must do that. Yeah, but Pogba's Pogba's been through it. I was reading that whole story, but, right? No, but before you even go into that story, he needs to go for a refund because that nigga been injured. Uh, yeah, for a, a hot, hot minute. Yeah, a lot. track down it's that black working. doctor and be like, <laughs> yeah. So like, where did he even find the witch doctor? This is some of the things that. Pogba needs to do. I think Pogba is honestly sleeping on a Netflix special to mm. get his money back. Mm. Do you know what's crazy when you talk about Netflix special? Yeah. And I don't want to go back to the election, but I think that Kenyan, the, the Kenyan politics for the last six years mm. should be uh, like a movie. Yeah. Like with actors and stuff. Because, bro, I was just driving and I was like, yesterday I was like, wow, imagine... The president was campaigning for the opposition. Yeah, like, not his homie. I've never seen that anywhere. If, if, yo, like you know what? You know what's crazy? Like I was watching uh, a video of Wasafi TV, mm. uh, Wasafi Radio mm. online. Those homies did a six-minute link wow. talking about the Kenyan election, right. about what happened in the Supreme Court. They're like, ah, oh, Odinga Kaleta Lori Nini what what what. I'm like. You niggas is actually very invested in this oh, yeah. shit. When I saw Davido post up, I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. man. You guys love us this much. Bro, I was talking to Pao Rankin on Monday. Yeah. And um, and he was like, he's got a new song just dropping um, today, actually. Mm. Um, and he was like, yo, you know, because, you know, um, I'm Ruto's daughter's married to his pal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm Nigerian guy. Yeah, so, yeah. So, mm. so him is like, oh. Yeah. Where, yeah, where in it? <laughs> <Okay. Yeah. laughs> yeah. But it's crazy though. Yeah, like man. just looking at that, and then of course Uganda. What I was talking to a homie of mine in South Sudan, mm. who was like, "Do you wanna come to Juba?" <laughs> wow. How is Juba now though? Like, I mean, I know that's not a bad he, idea. He, he, he told me pull up end month. I was you like, went, hmm. I went, well, you know when I went, it was not like I don't know how it is now. Oh, you you in coffee? Yeah, <laughs> that was a movie, bro. When you guys were picked up <laughs> on the tarmac, yeah. <laughs> bro. But my homie was like, so it's one of the guys, right? So mm. a musician out there, right? So he's trying to get some promo over here. Mm. So he was like, cool, what, what, what? So he's trying to get his, but he's been based. He's got a lot of guys, and he's like, bro. So we're just talking, and I was like, you know what? I've never been to Juba. Why not? So I asked him, what are the hotels like? What, what, what? How is it? And he was like, my man, come. I have. I will take care of you. I was like, okay. Go. Yeah, go get taken yeah. care of Kalishnikov. go man yeah? let, let them take care of you with, with what Kalishnikovs the uh, whole no, way no, don't do that but how crazy would it be if I land there and they're just like you know V8s and just guns all around yeah entourage yeah. damn feel nice like a no, movie star hmm? I think you go. should go but this, yeah. I mean I'm dark like you wouldn't survive there bro let me tell you something Uh, I went to school with a South Sudanese guy uh. who looked like I don't know. I, be, I I I refuse to believe this guy is South Sudanese, but he looked like, you know, um, Uhuru's grandson who was in USA. No, mm. uh, Kibaki's grandson. Yeah, yeah, Andrew. Who was in, uh, yeah, Andrew. Andrew, yeah. Photocopy, bro. Oh, really? People used to think they are bros to a point where he used to tell guys, yo, I'm South Sudanese, and guys used to go like, no, you can't be. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, yeah, they, these light-skinned niggas over there, bro, I'd survive, I'd be good. Mm. But I'd come, I'd come back a bit darker, though. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I had a good time there. It was it's interesting. It's always good to experience new places. Yeah, true. Do you know what I mean? What else is oh, going on? Oh, man. Yo, I, before I, we even transition, bro, I had a South Sudanese chick who used to hit on me, man. Mm. This is like 2011. Mm. Damn. And did you rap and? for the community? Did you did rap, I for rap for Kenya? Did you rap yeah. for Kenya? <laughs> what? You're trying, trying to, community, you're, trying to s- you're trying to ask if I drilled for oil. Or did you plant a flag? <laughs> No, calm. <laughs> Did you find gold? <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, planting a flag is just for the moon. It's just for the moment. For the moon. For the moon and the moment. <laughs> so it's like you know. What I mean, like if you, if you like, say, if we're talking about you know, like different nationalities, like Ethiopia. Did I eat anjera? Mm. Th- that's how you phrase it. Mm. Yeah. So did you? Huh? Did you? I like anjera. Ah. In Jero, all of that, you know. Hey, have you, you guys eaten Ethiopian? Zindera. Have you eaten Andrea? <laughs> <laughs> is it, now you're asking the question. That's what I heard. <laughs> no, have you eaten Andrea? In Jero. Oh, 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 no, is it? Is, it's not in Jero. My God, it's, this sounds yeah, bad. Yeah, that's Colin. <laughs> 
<laughs> no. Have you been an, what's it called? Angela. Yo, let's just stop. I Whatever it's called. Which, honestly, like, <clears throat> that's Somali food? No. If you're being. Yeah, food, yeah. Food, and yeah. nasty. No, no and is nice, good, bro. bro. I had it before. And some, some, if there's a restaurant, I went to, oh, I was taken to an Ethiopian restaurant a long time ago. Which one is this? I, I don't want to mention the name. Yeah. I didn't enjoy it, though. The, the main one. The, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. I know which one. Yeah. So you had the big saucer with the boiled egg in the middle and all of the different Ooh. delicacies. By the way, not your cup of tea. By the way, let me talk. I need to ask a question about this boiled egg. Yeah. Like, how do you randomly create a meal and just throw a boiled egg in the middle? Oh, like, protein, fam. What is that? Ooh, it's nice, bro. Yo, protein, bro. Fam, listen. It's good. Listen, listen. It's listen. like, it's like. <laughs> There's us. two things that should never happen. Mm. You know, when you go and buy a burger, like from a, a gourmet burger shop, mm -hmm. if they give you a chicken burger, you should never have an egg on that burger. Yeah. Like, okay. You get okay. that? Okay. You know, like, sometimes they make these big burgers with an egg. That's double homicide, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, you can't... You, 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 you need can't to ask you... Yeah. You need to Love calm down and, and be like, what came one. first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> yeah, you, you can't have an egg on top of a chicken pie. <laughs> like, that's, they that's, might be related. That's fucked up. <laughs> so for me, I, like, I don't know if it's a mental thing, I can never have a chicken burger that has an egg on it. That's nonsense. Oh, and that the shit is funny. Now, yeah, yeah. Even in... Even in, even in even in like you go to Ghana, Nigeria, and even it's like in Kenya, you have this stew, you whatever. Man, just throwing a boiled egg on top of it, like yeah, yeah. you have to, there, yeah. you have to, bro. It's like <laughs> it's like Somalis, Somalis, <laughs> Somalis with all of the biryani, the pilau, and then the big ass banana on like, the end, bro. That's even worse. Yo, those bananas. Have you tried to like eat a banana with the rice and you just do this, it's yeah. nice. fam? It's that nice. shit is delicious. I even thought we you need were gonna to take you to like, uh, we need to take you to little Beirut or some shit. Huh? I'm, I'm telling you, bro. Like eggs, I'm, eggs are nice. There eggs is are nice. No so you've never like smack in the middle of Westies stopped and eaten like a boiled egg with a kachumbari? Me? Uh, hell no. Me? Nope. I can't do you, it. You, you think you're bro, above you boiled know, eggs? Gee, I am. In gee, the street. You need to gas yourself up. That's what? why you need to eat those eggs, man. Oh, I can't. I can't. that negro. Fam, let me tell you. I can tell you about the street food that I've eaten, right? Mm. Like we talk about street food, right? Um, yeah, you still ain't eating Mutura. Let's just start there. There's no Mutura. You don't have any street so, credibility. So what street food do you, you have? you talk about street food, G, you don't You've have not, any. Let's, let's, you don't have any let's just not give you an opportunity to shine, right? You don't like Matumu. You don't like Mutura. You don't like Ugali. Ah, Smoky, what? come on, man. Where? That's like, where were Outside, you? Outside, like, a club in just, Westlands. No, you were just in Mothai Light. <laughs> That's what okay, it looks like. And I've had that other one was um Mshikaki. That one, yeah. I've had That's that. the most Mshikaki's, road man. Mshikaki is like yeah. Mshikaki is like Mshikaki. gourmet street food. Nigga, please. What, yeah. is, what is this there? Um have you had like uh Maze. have you had oh, sorry, corn. Yeah, corn with the with the whatever. <laughs> the burnt roasted yeah, yeah, yeah. Burnt roasted maize. <laughs> Why would I do that? Like who it's roast nice. maize? With some pili pili. Roast or, maize is good. Is like, sweet? like, oh, gee, you've never been. Nice. Like when you go to the no. south, you've never been to a barbecue no. and stop, 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 stop. This nigga boozy. Stop, boozy. stop. You guys, you guys have maize. <laughs> corn. I have sweet corn. <laughs> there's, there's a difference. But then let me tell you, sweet corn over here. Like if you buy that zucchini and what, uh. what, 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 throw it in the salt it a bit. Uh. Throw it in the pan. No. In the thingy, air fryer, oh, yeah. <sighs> stupendous, yeah. very good. Use salt or I'd use butter. Butter, really? Mm. Okay, I'll try yeah. that. But yeah, I'll just roast it, bro. Speaking about air fryers, uh, have you got have one? one? I don't have Man, one. Man, bro, Can someone buy me one. Like, like, you know what? It's, 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 cool, the thing sour. about it is, it's like I don't want to spend my own money on it. So I'll, I'll, tell you why. I'll buy you one. Please buy me one. Okay. I'm serious. I'll buy you know you why? One. Mm. Because it's like. If you go into this kitchen cabinet, well, this is where we are in the studio. There's so many appliances that have never been used. There's a but juicer. Really? There's Bro, a but this, the air fryer, the air fryer is, I pity everybody who went to culinary school. Fam, too much pressure. Air fryer, me and chef, same what's up. What do you mean? Nah. Yo, like you can pull some tricks with an air fryer. The other day I sent Gia pictures like, what? He's like, how'd you make that? I was like, air fryer. Oh, okay. Wow. Nah, but you know you, you can't you can't do that to the guys who did culinary arts, bro. Bro, that they're not comparable. But, but yeah, anyway, yeah, mad respect. Uh speaking of you wanting but, but an you air know fryer, what? air fryer, mm. still not as dope. And I can tell you where air fryers are never gonna sell. Where? <laughs> After you bought one. Why? How can you put omena in an air fryer? 
It's fucking a fly. You could call it flying fish. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm sure you'd be very happy if someone on your birthday got you an air fryer, right? I, I want it before my birthday. Before your birthday. I'll get but you anyway, one. is this a, seg- a terrible seg into this Omera, upon the LG air fryer. <laughs> um, what, what is the best birthday present you've ever gotten from your friend? And what is the best birthday gift you feel like you've ever gotten for your friend? Okay, I think the best, I can think of two birthday gifts. When I um, turned 30, <coughs> the chick I was with took, took me to Jamaica. Mm. Like mm. a surprise. Literally, we were in the club. Then mm. she's like, yeah, let's go, blah, 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 for a weekend. Came out of the club, got home, suitcases were packed. Really? Like, oh, where are we going? Oh, we're just getting blah, 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 boom, mm. on the plane, going to Jamaica. Damn, good I don't know if she was forcing herself to meet my parents, but she did. <laughs> Ah. But yeah, we went to Jamaica, so that was that was a great trip, my thirtieth. But th- that was your who? That was your shorty. Yeah, leave time. alone your shorty, not your significant other, not your girlfriend, uh. maybe your boy or someone you're not, someone oh. you have a platonic relationship with. Pints, huh? Huh? Beer. Pints. I'm, I'm thinking. Hold on. My oh no, my brother doesn't count, no. No, family doesn't count. Okay. Relationships don't count. Friendships. Um. Like even your best friend. Exactly. That's a good question. Exactly. The man them but like, niggas we, don't we be buying. Buy Bro, niggas them. will be like, listen, let's go to the bar. Mm. They'd have probably bought you something worth 10 G's or something. But they're like, let me buy you a 12 year old, 15 year old bottle of whiskey. Yeah. All mm. I okay. mean, with the boys, mm. the birthday is literally every Friday. <laughs> okay, valid. Yo, mm. like they will buy you pints back to back to back to back. But now on this one special day where it's your birthday, mm. they're like, mm. "Hey, bro, uh-uh. not happening." Some different. Mm. I asked this because uh, Logan Paul, the YouTuber, yes, uh, he got his best friend two porn actresses for his birthday. Just spend the day with them. So two famous porn actresses. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and I was like, "Damn, that's okay. I no, need to do that's, better as that's, a friend." That's good. Huh? But that's okay. Uh? No, can I, can I, let me finish. That's okay, but that's only a gift you can give to someone who's single, right? Because if they're in a relationship, you can't like say, okay. I'm let gay. them refuse. Let uh, them say no. No, I think, I think, I Gee, think you, you, you. Let them listen, say no. If they're in a relationship, like, hey, listen, I could be sent like two, two strippers just to kick it with. Especially mm. when they're like, in a relationship. I mean, we're, we're journalists. We could end up interviewing them. Oh, fam, these are porn stars, not strippers. Yeah, why not? What do you mean? Interview them? Yeah. So tell Yo, me, when did you first learn how to squirt? Listen, I've always, I've always wanted, I've always wanted a podcast title called now in, we are in, no, in <laughs> called, called in depth. Wow! Oh, oh my gosh! So you use this as an opportunity to start you know your own how, podcast. You know how you guys are always, birthday. how we always, how we always asking each other what's the title but, for the but podcast? Honestly, though, like think about it. You, the, you then I get to videotape it. Guess <laughs> what? Old school style. Nine millimeter. Shut what up, is old shut up, Calvin. Shut up. Don't encourage him. It's, it's 35. Don't, don't, don't. don't. No, I get, but damn. Anyway, it's... Anyway, I thought, I thought, uh, anyway, let me not even encourage him. Why did you let that one fly? Um, <laughs> you should have just... No, but think about it, though. Like, two porn stars. Like... Yeah. Uh, it doesn't mean anything. I'm thinking, like, fam, what, literally... Mm. You're gonna go, you're gonna smash, you're gonna get head. Yeah. So yeah. Like, you're gonna have an amazing threesome on your birthday with two porn stars. But there are probably women that you know who are better in bed than these porn stars. And they can come after these porn stars have left. <laughs> <laughs> That's bro, too much. I don't know. I don't yes, know, complain like, that it's too much. Uh, yes, those no, are good things. Bro, Andy, those are good problems. Andy, I, to think, have. I think it's about time you just dropped a sex tape, fam. Because at the level at which you. Nah, it's are not joking. even no, about it's, that. No, you I, guys I, are refusing <coughs> to acknowledge no. how big of a move this is. Your homie got you two pointsters for your no, birthday. It's, it's, bro, it sounds like American it's a big pie. Deal, bro. Stop, fam. What episode number is this? 175. Let's take it back to 37. <laughs> fam, I get you. <laughs> Let, let's talk recklessly. I'm saying, yeah, that like my like I would say, basically he's gifted you a threesome. Yes, more or less. Yeah, basically, yeah. he's given you a threesome, isn't mm. it? So basically, now you got to think were they about white or black? They were white. They're two white um, chicks, right? Now you got to think about it, right? Swimming in the snow. Think about it, right? In a threesome, like okay, yeah, a threesome is either going to be amazing or it's going to be bad. Yes, it's going to be. 
And you're talking out of what? Experience? <laughs> it's going to be amazing. It's not going to be amazing or it's going to be bad. Like, yeah, I'm just yeah, are, are you not? Are you not? So are we not you know, acknowledging you know, that? You know, th- that, that, that threesome it would be like, you know, the Supreme Court ruling. One is going to get a verdict and the other is going to get hot air. <laughs> I'm no, never the bringing these conversations here again. The thing about again. it is it's like this. Like, all right, let me tell you the dynamic of how it works, right? Basically, let's say he got hurt. He got he got him two porn actresses, right? Let's say that this guy's really into porn. Mm. Yes. Because the thing about it is, I those two chicks, mm. I don't, I'm never, I don't know who they are. Like, yeah, I don't me know neither. Who they are. You know what I'm trying to say? So let's just say that he's really into porn, Man, right? You guys are definitely not bang bros. No, no, we are not. No, but they. I mean, I'm not. I mean, they're white chicks, like you know. <laughs> you guys think get that joke? Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. But yeah. But anyway, shut up. So anyway, so let's say that he's really into porn. Yes. And, and really, let's say this were two of his favorite yeah. actresses. But they can't be equal favorites. Bro, this is like Bro, that's like okay. that's like going for brunch with Nikki and Cardi. Yes. How? Yes, exactly. The, one of them has to be lesser. No, but if huh? I was in a threesome with um, Nikki and Cardi, mm. like, who you hitting first? I'm concentrating. Hey, now you're like, asking the important. For me, personally, uh, Nikki. Or you con- you're concentrating Nikki, on Nikki. But now I want Cardi to give me head. <laughs> no, you know why? Me, you know. I you, was gay. You know, G, gay, bro. Gay, gay. Let me tell you. No, I, <laughs> feel, I feel like Cardi would give Bro, some you're going to get head. No, let, let me tell you. Let me tell you. 100%. Fam, I'm starting with Cardi B. Why? Bro, she's from South America, isn't she? She's Latino. Uh-huh. Haven't you ever seen all of those tempers? Bro. Like, I'm going to come cut you up. I have a with the peoples and everything. Where's Nikki from? Trinidad. I have a you question. Six in carnival. Yeah, that's okay. Mm. I have Yo, a question. Uh. If it's a threesome, what do you mean by I'm starting with? Is the other one waiting in line? When for you, you got double no, dick, no, bro. No, he's basically saying, which who would he smash first? You That's can't smash the two. Exactly. You can't smash both of them at the same time, bro. You, you can, lack. No, no, no. You e- lack explain, experience. No, explain to me now. Explain to me uh, now. Andy, when you what kind of point do you no, want? No, no, no. Because I, I you want to ex- get away I'll, with I'll, the. I'll send you a link. No, no, no. Don't send me a link. Let's talk about it here because how you're talking about it is. Let me start <laughs> with Nicki Minaj. No, 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 no. Link. Hear me out. Hear me out. Maybe it's language that you guys use, but you're not getting how it's coming out on this other no, side. No. This is this is what we are getting I on this other side. Okay. Ah, uh. ah, hold up. Let me learn this. <laughs> What you're saying is, <coughs> let me start with Cardi or Nikki, and mm. then when I'm no, am, am I lying? No, am no, I lying? Oh, Thank you. Okay, the audience, okay. no, I'm no, not I lying. I get you. I get you. Yeah. So no, by by what, start, what you mean like giving some it. head okay, okay. or no, smashing? I get you. No, I get you. You're right. Andy's right. Basically, the way it might sound, we it just sounded like we're gonna put Cardi over there. Yes. Wait for, no, 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 yes. no, no. No, we're all doing our thing. We're all in the oh, moment. Okay. Some mm. people are getting this. Some people are getting that. Right. Mm. But now she's tickling my toes, basically. But now, as in the first person who you wow. actually go into, then mm. let's say smash. Ah, okay. For me, the first smash is gonna be Nikki, and while and then well, save the best monster. for the last. Then, then <laughs> while I'm chilling now, now you can reawaken the demon. Nah, wow. bro. You know what? Okay, let me ask you this: when when you when you're doing, say you have some work to do, right, and these oh, hold different up, hold oh, no 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 wait wait wait, wait, wait. Just just be, just just i just started man i just started wait let me learn this and then you can say what you want to say you want to break down this work that you have so that maybe you get through it easily or more efficiently are you gonna do the hard tasks first so and then the easy ones later on no or are you gonna start with the easy no, tasks but first? That, no this is based upon who mm. if you gave me who i want to smash the same situation nikki mm. and cardi nikki for me yeah yeah Cardi's like the second one, but like, I think like Cardi is, I mean, she's a stripper, blah, 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 or all that stuff. Mm. I think she, I think personally, I think she's I, a mom. I, they're, they're both, both moms. moms. Exactly. You just described Cardi as a stripper. Can we refer to them as moms? Okay. Oh, Ex stripper. Right. Yeah, thank you. I just feel, mm. I just feel that like, if, I just feel like Cardi's head game would be so much better than Nikki's. Why? Cause, cause of how she pronounces her words on rap games. On this <laughs> looks. Nasty. Oh my goodness! But anyway, that that whole conversation got me thinking. <laughs> Who about got left of Barry Bougie? Oh man! Nah, nah. But you know, you know, here's the thing, man. Mm. I don't know. 
I'm trying to save the planet. I wouldn't start with no plastic. Oh wow! Wow, this is Nikki, bro. So you. By the way, let's talk about these know. BBLs. I don't what, even what do you know. mean? Brazilian butt lifts that these chicks are getting. I mean, like, you know, guys, I've been seeing that trend. Bro, I've been seeing that shit. There's that a doctor sh- doing that shit over here. In Kenya? Mm. Bro, have you Bro. not seen this? Big, <laughs> listen, this big listen have, you guys have, were out here yeah. discussing birthday presents. Come on, let us lift some shit up. No, fam. That shit looks literally normal, bro. Well, looks like, look, looks like a, a Nissan Juke. On, or, on or, TikTok today. Juke or, or some shit. On, on TikTok today, it was IG today. I saw this chick and she was like walking away. Like, like I don't know, like Craig David song. I'm walking away. She turns <laughs> and she walks away, bro. <laughs> I'm even coughing. Her body jaws, the two jaws of her ass, were like were like jelly, bro. And like she's because like, it's not jam. So, so <laughs> hold up. So she's like stopped and that shit just still jiggling. Yeah, bro. It looks abnormal, bro. Yeah. It's but maybe you know here's the thing maybe some shit just some people just like that shit fam i'm i'm all for people to express themselves and whatever you're into you're into that's fine oh i'm man. just saying that like i maybe personally huh yeah personally personally i think that that shit like, but 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 you know here's the thing i think it's all pressures man mm. bro this shit is I, I, there's a lot that's happening bro tammy tax have been here for a hot minute those mm. boob but here's the thing you know, here's the thing. So many of this, uh, some of these ladies will go to get them because of the pressure. Like, yeah. The pressure from who? Men like you and him. What? Nah. Please. I think, okay, Did you finish, just hear finish. how much time you guys spent? Fam, to, I didn't, I'm so happy I didn't contribute to this. You guys, you guys, why the fuck didn't you guys pick some slender ass babes? You guys said, Nikki, Cardi. They've got ass for days. Like, tell me, where, where were you guys again? First of all, don't say you guys. <laughs> I come from the era where, um, where soul music was like, to us. Was like don't, <laughs> don't go In changing to try to please me. <laughs> you know, I, I, I come from that era of love. <laughs> but I'm saying like... So every, you're, you're, no, you're trying to say no Billie, Jean, Billie Jean was skinny. I don't know, ask Michael, man. <laughs> like, I'm saying, uh, Whitney, Whitney was skinny at the start of her career. And she was mm-hmm. beautiful. <coughs> right, what I'm saying is this. <coughs> it's like, end of the day, every, in Jamaica, we say every hole has its stick in the bush. Every, what do you guys call this? Jembe. Every jembe has a, a stick that can make a handle out of it. Oh, man, that is a terrible... <laughs> <laughs> it's a, every hole, every hole has them ticker bush, right? Damn. It's, I'm going to abuse that. <laughs> yeah. Every every gem every gembe has its like its so so handle, right? so this was actually said by your elders. Yeah, every every who have every who Such have wisdom. them tick a bush. Such every wisdom. who has it stick in the bush, like it's handled somewhere, you know. So everyone has their preferences, you know. There's yeah. something out there for everyone, you know. Mm, mm. But um, I just think that like like if you are gonna get cosmetic surgery. <laughs> Like, if I'm going to get a new voice, <laughs> right? If you are going to get cosmetic surgery, see, you, you, you mold it into the image and likeness of, of, of how we are. But you know what? Bro, these chicks look like horses. <laughs> I, hey. think, I think the problem is the doctors. They go horses, to. though. Because fuck. the BBL shit, like... <laughs> like, like, what category of porn are you watching? <laughs> Fabio, for you to be like, yo, it's, it's not clicking horses. You'd be like, I'm going to the jockey club. Like horses, now bro. we know why, bro. But like you horses. know what? Honestly, so if we all went for plastic surgery, what the hell are you guys changing? Like us? Yeah. Um, I'd I'd, I'd go with my toes, man. Yeah, bad feet. No, I have very sexy toes. I've just like I feel like you know like how Michael guys used to just mm. be a fan of his like big ass nose mm. and shit. Me, I'd go with my toes. My uncle has made so much fun of my toes. Yeah. He was like, one time he saw me with sandals on. He's like, damn, nigga. I'm a f- <laughs> what are those? He was like, he was like yo, <laughs> I don't know how you haven't fallen forward. <laughs> For me, it would have to, I'd have to get a dick reduction. <laughs> <laughs> Pow! <laughs> <laughs> now we're pointing <laughs> first time ever. Yeah, he was like, yeah, come with this drink you beer. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. 
Ah, you didn't see that coming. Oh, now I we're prodding. We're taking it back no, to the episode. No, no like, 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 you know what? You know what? That was such terrible comedy. Because every nigga will say that. Like in front of babes. Like, yeah, man, you know. Like, like guys will be like, set, the, set, the setup from for that will just be like, it's uh, like being told there's a missile uh, coming. It's going to hit. It's a long story. Uh, oh, oh, man. No, but seriously, though, um... <coughs> My, a friend, a friend, a friend of mine actually got a hair transplant. Black guy. Oh yeah. Yeah, in um the UK, and like you know, he what's went, his name? He went to he went to Turkey. LeBron UK. Oh, no, he went to man. Turkey to get it done. Everyone goes to Turkey, mm. and it's like, fam, that shit. Like he actually has hair now at the front of his head. Would you I go get know. one? Yeah, would you? I don't know because I I feel like as you feel your <laughs> you feel your bald head. <laughs> like like if, if, all, if I told you yo G. Mm-hmm. Let's go to Turkey for like a couple of weeks. Because you know, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. we'll do the podcast from there, do the shows. Because you know, literally, they gotta, mm. they got to plow that scalp of yours and plant that shit in. No, don't they take parts from where it's growing and put it, uh, they move around, isn't it? But like, I think for me, um, there's two things that I really What kind take. of hair did you used to have? Do you remember? It was really light. Oh. I, I had like, I didn't have like nigger knots. <laughs> oh, so you had like this Somali hair or some yeah. shit? My grandmother, you see, my grandmother's half Chinese. Yeah, yeah. Shit, so you had soft mm-hmm. hair. Soft hair. Mm, okay, Andy. So, so I think you should do that though. No, you know, like how Method Man literally just decided at the age of fifty-one. Meth- at yeah. the age of forty something to go to the gym. No, he just decided uh, he's a now certified Trina. jumper. Jumper, like Sky Jumper. Method Man. Yeah. And, and a trainer as well. And a trainer, it. yeah. So, yeah. bro, now, you see, like, people are doing that. Mm. Bro, biggest comeback ever of but your career. Hairline. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, like, Yo, the, the, change your head can <laughs> even. <laughs> now, do you want the pre-hair? So, so I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm averse to pain. But one thing I really would work on mm. is um my... Teeth, you know, I'm very conscious about my teeth. Yeah. I, I, now, when I was in a beef the other day, and I'm just looking at these rich niggas with their perfect gun, and I'm like, how much does that cost? Like, <laughs> yeah, I um, I would work. That's on my what teeth. you were thinking. No, no, no. You're seeing money in people's mouths. <laughs> <laughs> like, Pause. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Yeah, just. Kidding, yeah, I'd work on my kidding. teeth. I definitely work on my teeth. Are you and which I am already anyway. So the Madrid place, the uncle that got busted when I was playing basketball yeah. years back. Yeah. Why are you all go, go, like you just? Got I, 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 there's nothing else I'd want to change. I had to think of something. Like man. your ears. Why? Your ears are too small. I, sh- I then I guess my ears then. That's what I changed. I'm oh, joking. your ears. Nah, no, I'm I had joking. To, I had to pick one. I had to pick one because yeah, there's nothing really I'd want to change. Yeah. Good, I, I heard some other chick talk about uh, anyway. Let me just stop. Yeah, I, I think I'll just change my toes. Everything else, I am mm. uh, created in the mi- image and likeness of Christ, right? That nigga look good, you know what I'm saying? Amen, amen to that. Yeah. Anyway, moving on very swiftly, uh, someone asked a very intriguing question in the group mm-hmm. Do you think babes treat you differently because you have a car or luxury items, e.g., an iPhone? If it's no, an iPhone, well, yeah, very, of course, man. Of we course. can't imagine, imagine, bro, like you gotta speak the same language, fam. What do you mean by that? Like airdrop, you feel okay, me? okay, yeah, oh, okay. What if she has an Android? Mm? Oh, Android does so much work, <laughs> people said, <Jesus>. you <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, she calls there's me, there's nothing she, wrong with she Android. calls me on, on thingy and it's pixelated, like, <laughs> they never, you, are, you, are you Android? <laughs> eh? Damn, okay. <laughs> There's nothing well, wrong with that. For Christmas, reports. we're gonna get you one. <laughs> for Christmas, we need we're, we're, not, we're gonna get you one. No, now, can we proceed to trash talk? <laughs> Android, we Android. Even, bro. So, no, we've committed to the cause. Yo, yo, yo listen. Everyone gets. Bro- don't even stress about it. My guy used yeah. to be on Android. Austin, we've all had Android at some point. Fam, let me tell. I had one the other day. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Why do you look at him? You've never had an Android. No. He's G has had many Androids. No, but when maybe I maybe the Blackberry is the closest I, to an Android. When you I had. buy, when I buy, whenever, okay, whenever I've bought an Android, it's always been experimental. It's always been like, you know what? I'm gonna like I have one at home now. Like I have a Samsung something at home now, and I'm just like, okay, I'm I'm weaning myself off of iPhone. Let me get an Android, fam. After like two weeks, that someone comes to the house and is like, yeah, there's a phone, take it. <laughs> 
Like we it's just, so much work. Do you know like you know when someone someone takes a picture because some Android phones take really good pictures. Yeah, yeah. Send me it. How do you want it? What's up? <laughs> You you know here's the Fam, thing. You know why why are you trying to complicate shit? Charlie Jeez. used to, huh? Ch- huh? Charlie used to be on Android. And Samsung. Char- Samsung. He's a diehard. Avid. Mm. Avid Android guy. Mm. We take pictures in the studio, and he's like, yeah. So email it over to me. I'm like, oh fuck? yeah yeah yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, is there an Android equivalent for AirDrop? Telegram. <laughs> no. Telegram is oh Telegram. My God. Your Telegram, bro. Like every time, every time, fam. Like in the studio when uh, my guy's recording videos of me, and then he goes and sends them to me on Telegram. Really? Kind of like downgrades, but but also it's bad. okay. Yeah, yeah. WhatsApp downgrades badly. Badly. Mm. I mean, what's WhatsApp has everybody on it, even even your your relas. Oh yeah, man. yeah. There's the new capacity. Mm-hmm. But you know what I hate about Telegram? Like, you know when Telegram was actually the cheating app? G, you're the one yeah. who introduced me to it, by the way. <laughs> you all introduced me to Telegram. Yo, G was like, yo, check this shit out, man. This is like this is like six, seven years ago. No, Telegram, man. Secret chat. Fam, let me tell you, all of the dodgy characters in my phone are all on Telegram. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be. Some businesses, some business conversations you have, you can't have them on WhatsApp, man. You know, now, now it's like, like, like if I chat with you on, 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 on WhatsApp mm. and I see that you've got your timer on, my nigga, there's something you're doing, bro. You know yeah. these guys who actually have their timer mm-hmm. on full time? Like 24 hours. Yeah. Delete, delete, delete. Delete. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? But I have mine on. Like, not on, like so for me, if if it's a conversation like between us or mm. whatever, I won't have a timer on. Mm. But my default is 24 hours. Mm. Because if the thing about it is, you know, you get spammed with so much shit. So it just it, it automatically just cleans up your, mm. your thing. thing. You get me? Because at the end of the day, sometimes when like you have an iPhone, mine is 128 mm, mm, mm. GB, right? Mm. Was it whatever it is, yeah? And then you see, you're running out of space. When you check it out, Kumbe, WhatsApp messages is like 45 gigs. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 so my one, auto, so my default setting is if I start a new conversation, it automatically deletes after 24 hours. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, because fam, like in one of our groups, there's a group that I've been in um, with Kidder Bruce, Alvo Bruce, and them man there for so long. And I swear to God, if I go into that group now, it's probably got 99 million images that have been sent. And it's not, I can't go and put it so on. You remove, now. remove automatic download. Like That's what? Media links and docs, 1,260. Media, you remove, can actually remove, automatic remove auto downloads. download. Yeah. That, yeah. That's why you'll have to manually download something that you want to. Yeah, because, bro, automatic download is so like If you want to see a picture of Barry in a Mike's Open t shirt from. 2021. Yes, the there. In the chat. <laughs> no, no. I like that because I can go back and look at something and also I can remember a couple of things. I don't like going back to a conversation and I don't remember where things left off at. Like like oh. sometimes on Snapchat, you know. Look what I just found. The Azimio Manifesto. Wow. That was well, it was well, it was it was well done though. You all talk about everything on we there. We talk about everything in that group, boy. The so yeah, guys, to, to, to talk to me, man. Like, have babes treated you differently as you're raising up the the ladder, the no. socioeconomic it's ladder. It's oh, natural, though. Where, where, where did you notice these differences? Happens. I mean, at the day, look at it. Look, look at it and reverse the question. Mm. It's like, um, as Mostak says in one of his songs, like sometimes I just go for basic chicks because they're they're the freakiest. Mm. That's that's what he says. Mm. But sometimes you think to yourself, you're not gonna step to a high end woman, like in a shabby way, are you? No, no. no. You, you're gonna step to a high end chick. In a certain particular way, mm. but then if you see like a little little thing, no, 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 go on. You're not gonna like. I don't think you put effort in as much. No, you well, just rely on your game, isn't it? Leave alone you doing the actual work. Uh-huh. The babes, how they approach you, how they interact with you, how they. A hundred percent all day. A hundred percent. There are people, there are women I know, mm. who speak to me, who I meet, and they speak to me in a particular way because of who they think I am or what they think I have. A hundred percent. Every fucking day, every fucking day. Really, without a doubt, you know. And and then you find you become the the, the women who you become closest to are the ones who treat you like you're just trash. Not trash, but not that far. A regular guy. Yeah, mm. and it, it's human nature. You know, it's human nature. It's like, fam, you've been around and seen. Let's take 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 women treating us out of the equation. Have you ever seen how like some? Media people act around artists. Oh, like oh my god! Like sons, yeah. sons of bitches. 
Yeah, it's yeah. true. And these are the people who, who like, you know, like, you know, as our mantra is, the, the, the tell we you. are the stars. So when so, when a celebrity or, or a famous person comes into your studio, remember, you're the star because you're on air. It's your you know, studio. It's your studio, it's your show. Yeah. Some of these people are so ditzy around celebrities, bro. Mm. To me, I ain't lie to you, it's the hardest thing for me to ask yeah. someone for a picture. Mm. True. Like, I've been around Pete, our S&A. Shut like, the fuck so up. So what? Huh? You asked Baba for a picture. But Baba's different. <laughs> That's, That's why you draw the line. Celebrity <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but Baba's different, That's bro. That's why you draw the line. Enigma no, of Kenyan politics. Oh, that was a good no, one. No, 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 bro. I waited for that too, bro. <laughs> man, man was like, battery's well, about to die. But no, you, you texted me about <laughs> it. All right. Yeah. I, I, At Sankara. He was in a meeting with some other politician. I will, I waited like a bitch. <laughs> that's Baba. <laughs> you get, have my Baba so picture. There, yeah, you have it. Thank yeah, you. That's, that's one. That's, that's one. Yeah, but that's, come on, that's Baba. Would you take, would you wait for Uhuru? No. I've never even seen Uhuru in real life. Oh, yeah? I've never seen, I've seen Ruto. Mm -hmm. um, there's a BBC function that I did a couple of years ago when they were launching. Oh, yeah, yeah, new, yeah. The, the new, new thingy. He came through. And Ruto came through and gave mm. a speech. Yeah. Yeah, so I've seen Ruto in flesh. Obviously, seen Baba, never seen Uhuru. I don't have most politicians. I've seen Orengo. Mm. Orengo, I've seen him at um, Fogo. Um, yeah, that's it. I've not really seen any politicians. I've seen a, a lot I've seen of Sakaja. Uh, Sakaja was. I've seen Sakaja everywhere. <laughs> Coco J. Milan. Yeah, <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen Babu. Oh my God. We I've seen love. Babu at Milan. Oh man, I've what? seen Babu enough times. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so. Uh, so there you have it. What are we talking about again? What, what's the next? Before you continue, yeah, uh, lockdown. lockdown. Lockdown tonight. Sessions. Yeah. Who's on it? Who did you say again? Widji. Widji and? And Otis. Yeah, Widji and Otis. Otis. Yeah, 10 p.m. Otis. 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 Yeah. Otis. Like Otis. I, th I thought I thought bit down Otis is now DJ. He's now a DJ. That would be dope though. <laughs> Otis. O-T. <laughs> O-T. Yeah. Otis. Like. Drops like get bit in Nakuru. Wow. Yo, wow. Grouchy, yo, Grouchy. Grouchy was like, let's go to Nakuru last weekend. Then he's like, but let's carry security. Damn. That's rough. <laughs> Guys, a man. That's rough. So, um, so, yeah, so to answer your question, yeah, I think people, it's unfortunate, but people do deal with people yeah. in terms but of That status. was what women we were talking about. Yeah. Man, women yeah. and men. Mm. Mm. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, bro, let me tell you. It's, it's like, say... Even uh, like times when I dro drive my small car, mm. right? When I'm going to somewhere, security guards, ah, ah. boss, park Kobana. Yeah. Following there, pull up with the other car. Ash, yeah, 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 I'm yeah, like, yeah. the fuck are you Bro, doing? I was there yesterday. <laughs> Fam, let me tell you, I won't even lie to you. Yeah. When I went from my Toyota Wish to a BMW, my God. <laughs> Everything changed. <laughs> Everything changed. <laughs> all these estates that, like, it's so true. All these estates wow. that man couldn't get into. Man, Do, like, even now with the new car, the new, hey, they, they even <laughs> they even open the door. <laughs> it's like that, That's right? Interesting. Yeah. So, mm. and it also happens. And um, so, I'll talk in terms of women, right? Mm, yes, mm. women. You may not post up anything on Instagram and what and what and what. But women have a thing where they can smell you're doing good from mm. a mile away. Mm. And they will, like, say, for instance, you went with this babes to uni. Mm. And you guys were all at the same level. Right. Like, studying on the come up, what, what, what. You've gone, lost contact and everything. Mm. And she probably never used to give two shits about you. Right. Boom, you bump into each other, like, at a symposium or a work conference. And she's like, oh. Nigga, you cleaned up. You glowed cleaned up. Cleaned up. She's like, she probably will hit you with like, yeah, can I get your business card? Because mm. she wants to see what fucking position you are. Mm. Right? And also, the basic thing that Kenyans do. Mm. You've sat with them at the same table. Say so you guys have gone for like a workshop. Mm. So what is it that you do? So that they can decide how they're going to tailor the suit mm. of but, respect of how they're going to. That's so deep, bro. Do you know that we do that without even thinking about mm. it? Have you noticed? I like. I don't know if you've if if you've noticed, right? I mean, it's harder in our um field because we're visible, right? Mm. Yeah. But fam, I notice it all the time. Like I'm in certain um circles, mm. and people ask each other like, "What do you do?" And I'm like, "Wow!" Like it's almost as if we're working out how much respect should I accord you? Are we giving you? you know? Yeah. For me, half of the time, like uh, 
you a lot of people who don't know that I do radio. I may I tell them I'm just a KYM. Just mm. out here, you know, joint guy, spanner guy, what 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 simple. Mm. And you just see their faces just get deflated. Mm. And le- let me ask you something then. And, sorry, mm. before we move there. Mm. <clears throat> I used to hate when I was in the UK, especially before I um went mainstream. <laughs> I when I used to run my pirate station, right, and you know what? It's a community thing, like it's a hood. I used to hate when my friends would say, "Hey, this is G Money. He owns Baseline FM." Mm-hmm. I used to, and I used to say to people like, "Yo, don't do it. Like, don't, don't, don't add. There's nothing. Yeah, yeah, G-Money. don't. Yeah, separate say. them. But you no, know? um, in, in their defense, cause I've been that guy, even introducing someone I'm in the same field with right. at a night out to one of my friends. Mm. And so that I can, you know, let my friend really understand who is with us or who I'm introducing them to. I go like, this is so-and-so, they work at blah, mm. blah, blah. And then later, it was, it was a show that she was like, yo, don't do that. Right. Don't, don't introduce me. And then... Tell them that this is exactly who I am and this is what I do. And I could never have seen that coming. Mm. So I think we can't also take it personally because this person is as enthusiastic to introduce us or introduce the other party as they are, you know, to just be happy for the two but of you, no, I you know, can't. meeting or getting no, to know each other. I understand. I understand. But like, it's like if you say this is G Money from, from the mics are open. Yes. Right? Yes. What does the mics are open add to the conversation? To help the other person really understand, like, oh in in the okay. event in the event that maybe they don't know what Jimani, but they've heard of the mics are open. They'll be like, ah, I've heard about the mics are open. But what, I feel so, like sometimes it's so, innocent, other times it's, it's to let you yeah. know socially right. this is where they are to so, so treat them with this accord. This is Byron. Mm. He's a student. Doesn't cut it. Just Byron, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just you can say this is Byron. He does <clears throat> lost frequencies. Uh, he has and he has Android. Yeah, or he does lost frequencies. Huh? A show. He does a show called Lost Frequencies. I'd say something like that. He has known that shit for long. <laughs> it's an example. No, no, what the fuck? <laughs> no, you got all the equipment over here, man. What the fuck? Exactly. Byron, send, I tried, s- s- I send tried. us send us a report. <laughs> Byron, you should be out here playing, no, I, I playing with you, these I things on your own. You. So you're saying unless unless you're not networking, if this is a social gathering. Bro, let me tell don't you. Don't bring in you my know, professional. Unfortunately, there's no value that we're adding to this conversation. This shit is Why? not about to stop because the mics are open. I've said it. No. You will find yourself at some point mm. asking, yo, listen. By the way, me, I'm not going to stop asking. Maybe you're a fucking carjacker from Roy. <laughs> I don't care. From Why the Roy, fuck am know? I talking to you? From, yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. Then then again, I'd love to know some. But you know, here's the thing. It's a thing that we do. Yeah. Mm, it's yeah. a thing. Like, here's the thing. One of the things I know that I've not done in years and years and years and years. I just have a conversation with people. And I always get turned off when people ask me, so your name, Wangoko, where is it from? Are you from Western? Are you from what? I'm just like, fam. But oh, let's talk about that though. Yeah, like I I ask people where they're from, mm. and it's not because of a tribal affiliation. I'm genuinely interested where you're See? from. What See? the fuck do you See? mean? It's not because why the fuck are you asking me? No, like no, I know, no, no. I, I know where you, these guys are from. No, where you're from. Where you're he's from. genuinely interested. In genuinely finding out interested where you're in from. Because you just treat me the way I am. No, no, no. I, I'm not going to treat you any different. Cause it's like, for example, listen, there's a couple of Kamals who might have stolen some shit. No, but we don't need to generalize. No, but uh, so what I'm saying is this, and this is from a very outside position perspective. Yeah. yeah, even though I've lived here for so long, mm, right? Mm. It's like one of those ones. You know, I remember the first time I came, right? I remember one of oh, my. Oh, tell me. One of my early. <laughs> one of my early. One of the first times I blew up on, on the radio here. Yeah, is that when I went on the radio? This is before. Um, WhatsApp, Twitter, all of these things. And I said, we used to have a, we used to have a, a text line. What was it? 6996 or something. One of those mm. cellular text yeah, lines yeah. at home. Boys that every time you text, we make money. Mm, mm. Them ones. Fam. I said, hey, you know, I'm from London. I need a tribe. My God. And in those days, Duncan's writing down the the text is mm. on piece of paper and bringing them into the studio. Uh. Fam, we broke the internet that mm. morning. 
Because everyone was like, like, nah, you look like you're from here, you look like from there. And that's when I realized how, because to me, when I, when I, the first, the very first time I came to, mm. to Kenya, the very first time, I remember I was leaving and I gave the immigration lady my, um, thing, your passport, my passport. Or mm. and she was like, oh, you're British, you look Luo. I just smiled like, yeah. Because <laughs> I had no idea what yeah. she was what referring meant. to. Mm. Yeah. I had no idea. I, fam, you know, like, honestly, for me, and I, I say this with all innocence, bro. When I came to Kenya, bro, or the last time I, uh, let me even go back. The last time I heard the word tribe or used the word tribe is when we used to watch cowboy movies as kids. Mm. And this was the Indian tribe, the yeah, yeah. Kawasaki <laughs> and uh, all of those Geronimo. And, yeah. and, uh, so tribe is nowhere on my radar when I came. Like, it's not even, a, like, I'm not even think. even when I think about the Caribbean, as I try and kill a mosquito on set, even when I think about the Caribbean, I've never thought about... Y'all ain't got no tribe, though. We don't have any tribes. So it's mm. an alien concept. So when I, I... You know, even when you think about, like, Nigeria, I uh, just look at Africa, Kenya, Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, they're just man them, isn't it? They're just mm. who they are. I know concepts. So when I came here and began to learn about tribes, mm. it's fucking fascinating to me. Yeah. <clears throat> you see, even to this day... I don't understand all of the different tribal um, things from coast. Mijikenda, Garima, this, this, this. Oh, yeah. It's fascinating to me. Mm. It's actually, f and then you, you think about like, for example, you think about like um, Embu, Meru, and- The Gemma. Bored, and all the different different interfaces and cultures, the way how people cook. That shit is so, I think- Cook? No, I'm just, you give me the cultural oh, example. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm, what I'm saying is this, right? I think one of the biggest things that we've missed as as um as Kenyans and as as TV stations and whatever 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 right is that how fascinating would it be to have a TV program called Tribe mm. where you go you have a you have an amazing presenter who goes into each community spends some time learns about their 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 customs and their traditions and speak to some of the older people yeah. eats the food you know the way a white people go and they're like so i went to indonesia indonesian street food is amazing so they've cooked this curry prawn in a da -da 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 -da. how old is this technique well your grandmother used to do it you know yeah, i'm talking about a really proper in-depth examination of every single that was, my final year project. That was your final year project yeah. right uh, show. Huh? there's a show yeah. what's it called not just oh foods of Kenya, right? So I'm being told there's a show called Foods of Kenya which does that. But I'm talking about just diving deep into the cultural histories and and everything of everyone, so that we can all learn more about each other. Mm -hmm. It's for example, it's like it's like you look at the um look, look at Cambas, yeah. Mm. Like <clears throat> I know they're from Eastern. Some of them. What's their origin? What's their path to 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 being in Kenya? You think about. Nylots or Bantus or Kushites. Fam, it's intriguing. It's very intriguing. So I, I get your point. You make a very valid point. But I think now in terms of um, everything that has happened in the 254 yeah. and how there's been so many different perceptions. Okay, so if you're from here, this is what you need to. And it goes back to, uh, <clears throat> it goes back to colonialism, right? Where all of this... Um, tribal affiliations and branding for lack of a better word was done so mm. the british would say those are the kikuyus yeah. they're productive they do this those are the indians they do this right those are the luos those are the kambas like that like that mm. that is where it all begun right, right. so all of those things um <clears throat> you're a kid from taita taveta mm. and you're told this is what uh, the Mijikenda do what, what, what. And mm. these are some of the roles that have been... Like when you think mm. about the Kambas, traditionally they were looked as looked at uh, looked at as the potters. They were the most... Um, what do you call them? Mm. They were looked at as the most... The long-distance um, traders. The, the loyalists, right? Mm. They wouldn't steal. They'd be there for years. They wouldn't ask for no right. pay rises, right? right? The Kikuyus are seen as hardheads, what, what, what. So because of all of those divisions mm. that were given, right? It all started all of this ethnic um what do you call it 
Div- mm. div- division. Division and also people feeling, oh, no, this tribe has been what, what, what. Mm. So now when people grow up, and this is the one thing, and I, and I keep saying it, we just came from another election. Mm. That is when you see that whole political and tribal mm. divide come in again. You right. get. Yeah. So, but, yeah. But you know the thing about it is, here, 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 here's my thought on it. It's like, you can't heal what you don't reveal. Yep. You know, you can't heal what you don't reveal. And the thing about it is, it's like, we know tribalism exists. Mm. We know um, division exists, yeah? We have to explore that shit. We have to go deep into it and understand and unpack it so that we can see the very basic of, the basis of what creates and why mm. it makes zero sense. It's like, for example, um, the, the UK. Mm-hmm. Look how the, how the UK and racism, and when I was growing up in the UK, you know, you had the National Front, the British, whatever you call himself, they're skinheads and big boots and they hate blacks yeah. and Indians and Pakistans and all of these things. Look at youth, look at youth culture in the UK now. It's fucking so diverse. black. Yeah. yeah. Hello. It's black. You hear the, look at someone like, like Central C. I don't even know where the fuck he's from, <laughs> but he's, mm. he's banned them. Mm. The only way you could really, really heal anything is to really pull off that. that we've been putting a sticking plaster over a wound mm. for know, too long. For too long, we need to pull it off and and understand. You Expose know, like it. and 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 legislate, fam. When you go into certain government offices, bro, I've been to government offices and man, I'm in there speaking Kikuyu. Yeah. How can you do that? Like, like you know, I remember there's a time at um even at homeboys there's a time in the early days. When there was there was a sales team a lady there and they I caught they were speaking some they were speaking Lou I said no you can't do that it's not because the four of you are Lou mm. we're in an office you can't just be speaking your mother tongue not that I understand Swahili mm. but just but, like you know you, yeah you know we we and we Inclusion. have to talk about it it's like in in the UK mm. they had to have a race relations act. act. You can't do this. It needs to be legislated. That like, guess what? You cannot give somebody a job based upon their tribe or affiliation. Sure. Give somebody a legal ground to challenge bullshit. Mm-hmm. You know, else we're never gonna move. True. You know. True. I don't know. Anyway, what do I know? I'm just a DJ. Nah, nah, gems, gems. I'm just a DJ, bro. And that yeah. was serious. Open mics. That was serious. It's true, man. Uh, yeah, before open mics, make sure you like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. I feel we got lazy since we 100k. We? We? Like, we what yeah. is this we business? By the way, after 100k, next plaque. The mic. The, the mic. Let's do it. Like, share, subscribe. Oh shit! I forgot. I'm off mic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I basically said like, share, subscribe. Yes, sir. Yeah, basically. All right. Um, one trillion dollars or ten minutes dinner with Jesus. Let's go, uh, my nigga. Mm. Come on. Run me up my money. <laughs> <laughs> Ama, ten J- minutes. A tea? No, I've got a. B- I've got a very good preposition for him. Mm. Yeah. I'll tell him, bro. It's been a hot minute since you've been around, right? Mm-hmm. You said a trillion. Yeah, USD. Bro, let me give ten percent to everybody, and I'ma tell them my nigga JC connected me. Think you nailed it. Oh, <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow! But that's yeah. much intended. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, for me, it's ten ten minutes with Jesus. Oh, please. Lies. You're just, you're just saying Lies. that because... Yeah. Controversy. At, at the controversy, at yeah. the contrast. Let me be different. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. We can't up. all agree on the same at thing. What? Let, listen, <laughs> there's no KPIs we're feeling here. If we say 10 trillion and we keep and it we moving. Move <laughs> no, I, 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 want, I want 10 million with Jesus. Ah, 10 minutes with Jesus. For what? Um, For what? Think about it. Yes. Think about it. We like, thought about it. <laughs> think about it, man. Two little fishes, five loaves of bread. How many people did Jesus feed? 5,000. 5,000 people with two little fishes and five loaves of bread. Yeah. Fam, basically, if mm. I have 10 bob, mm. this guy can turn that 10 bob into 10 trillion. He did, which is this 1 trillion. No. That you're about you're to let go small. of. Now I'm going to be like, listen, you guys don't know how to talk to God. Huh? You be like this, Jesus, check this out. I know mankind is going to forsake you. For this one trillion. 
But I need to prove the wow. glory and the power. You know, you know, so you're willing to throw, you know, you're willing to throw seven billion like, people under the bus. <laughs> so can I save one person? Can I finish? I'm like JC. Listen, I was like, the heart of man changes every day. Okay, conscience, <laughs> bro. But the love of the most high, <laughs> you know, you always the same. The same. You know, you know, seek not the approval of a of man, a man or, a or a woman. I'm gonna say JC. I want to be the person who shows the glory of your name. Oh, please. So these guys have got one trillion. Bless me with 10. So, so here's the thing. Okay, that's, here's the thing. You, shall, you, you know, you know, that. you know, you know, you know, sit for 10 minutes and you know, 10. why, why, why that is just, you know, you know, hot air, uh-huh. right? It's been a week of a lot of that. Red earrings. <laughs> right? <laughs> My thing is this. How are you going to talk a trillion with the homie JC? And there is nowhere in that historical book called the Bible where you heard of Jesus being a baller. Bro, he doesn't know money, fam. He was born to peasants. But he, he knew about the taxing system and everything. Bro, that is because that at that point, First of all, Caesar, by the way, which Bible are you reading? By no, the way, Caesar was just taken from everybody. By the way, you, you know, he you was know, not. You know why I would choose Jesus as well? Drinks on tap. Bob, oh my man turned war into the man's wine. contract, please. Yo, <laughs> drinks on tap, fam. <laughs> drinks on tap. Tasker draft. Make sure yes. you cop it. Yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> my thing is this. Honestly, that. that's, a uh, that's, that's, a, that's a crazy one. Yo, listen. He doesn't know about money. Like, how mm. are you going to sit with him and talk about that with that? Fam, I don't you know what you're reading. He was not born guys, in Nairobi bro, Hospital. A bro, manger. First of all, when Jesus comes back, you think he's coming back in this sackcloth shit? Oh. That nigga's coming back out in threads, bro. Threads what? Yeezy. Yeah. Yeezy. <laughs> Jesus. We're going to hell. No, he's but. Coming back in that Yeezy. You know, you know what? Let's talk From about From the gap that. store. When you, when you, when Jesus comes back, what do you think he's going to wear? Air Force Ones. <laughs> You're mad. <laughs> that shit is white. If, if we're thinking physically like. Mm. Yo, oh those, my god, those, that's such a dope. Those Moses <laughs> three thousand. That's such a bro. dope tweet. When yeah. Jesus comes back, when Jesus comes back, don't use on your show tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'm gonna use it right now. <laughs> what do you reckon are gonna be on his feet? <laughs> yeah, those Moses three thousands, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Oh and man, like a, a robe or something, you know, yeah. jewelry, maybe something small, but little little shambala. Yeah, little, little, uh, hey, golden, bro. Yeah. No, not just a shambala. A golden. But I, I do think he's gonna wear. <laughs> I think he's gonna wear gloves. Anyway, Why? so Why? <laughs> no, we have another one. We have another one before we wrap up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. My God, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're a Christian, sorry, sorry. But Jesus sorry. and uh, God created humor. Yes. Anyway, um, at what point in a relationship or friendship are you saying it's toxic as opposed to we can talk and grow towards something healthier? Wow, that's a whole podcast, bro. Okay. That's a whole podcast. Because I think that toxic is also a buzzword that people use to describe cruel behavior. Mm-hmm. Um, like 10 years ago, you wouldn't say someone's toxic. You doesn't say they're cruel, in it? Like they're emotionally cruel. So yeah. I think we should discuss toxicity because I think the most toxic people are the people who use the word toxic. And throw it at other people. And then, then you have this bunch of like just people who can't uh, connect the left and the right part of their brain. What is it called? The left side? And they uh, just you just right make a hemisphere. statement and they're like, oh, oh, toxic. Mm. Shut the wow. fuck up. Yeah, I think in any relation, like I, I read something, was it today or yesterday, where it was like, you should make all of your friendships and your relationships be at eight or above. You should have a grading system. For example... Think about it. We're on this journey of life. Why would you have a friendship that's like a five? Mm. Aim to make your friendships eight and above so that they're amazing. If you're si- if it's six, you're just barely making it. Like, why are you even friends? You know. True. Anyway, this is when the mics are open. Uh, thank you very much. My name's G Money. Andy Young. Big C. What do we say after that? Adios. Adios. Yeah.